It seems obvious, but a lot of people think they're good listeners, but I think a lot of people actually aren't good listeners. What's your observation? The dark side of confidence is arrogance. And, and my, my shadow's arrogance. And I would think, hey, I'm pretty smart. I'm experienced. I'm accomplished, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to listen. I got it. I'm quick. I got it. Well, that's not, that wasn't true. And so it dawned on me that listening is really complex. It's not passive. You have to create, as we say in the book, your own listening ecosystem because the signals are of varying intensity and intensity does not necessarily correlate with significance. And so you wanna be able to listen broadly, not just to your direct reports, not just to things that come at you naturally. And if part of your listening isn't, a, isn't an active intentionality, like I would go out and ride with sales reps once a quarter or I'd go visit factories, that was intentional. And all you do is depend on what naturally comes to you. You can be sure you don't have the facts or you gotta, you're living in some reality distortion field. So, so listening is, is an art form. It has to be intentional and, and you have to create an environment where it's okay and expected and safe for people to tell you the truth. It's an, it is a real art form. It, it probably was the biggest single revelation of my career is how powerful and necessary listening is and how bad at it I was.